Welcome to Skyward Sword HD. We are here. I still feel good. We're still chugging along. Still chugging along. Here we go at, uh... Last time we were at Lanny Rosansi, we've got one of the better temples to go through right now in the entire series. We did the temple setup last time. Roger Dudra 178. Roger Dudra 178. I just want to give a huge shout out to you. Um, you are just one of the most supportive, amazing viewers I've ever had. He's dedicated. He shows up. Um, and he tries to teach me about the game. And I just want to show some love to that guy. So, Roger Dudra, we love you, man. We love you here at B-Dubs. Calypso loves you. Uh, you are one of the best viewers I've ever seen on this, uh, on my entire time doing this. You can see there's some furniture here. So we can just take a seat, and we can heal up. Here we go. All right. So this is the temple, the sand ship. Um, there's not really many places we can go to start off. We can go through these double doors. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. Oh, there's furniture right here that we could have healed on. That's cool. Uh. Let's save right here. Yeah, let's save over our file. Looks like there's a place for us to play uh, music here. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Took us a little bit. Now we can do our Skyward Strike. That scatter shot is so nice in this temple. And if you missed it, we got that last live stream, last episode. Take this guy out. Oh, that did not. What am I doing? Forgot how to bowl or something. There we go. Oh, I missed. I curved the bullet on that one. What am I doing? Oh, we got him. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Give a little roll so we can make it. Looking like me and Wee bowling. Alright.
Looks like the gust bellows is going to come in pretty handy here. Oh my sweet Jesus. Scatter shot, help me. Grab the gust bellows. I hear you got a infestation here. In your shit there, buddy. Don't worry, we'll take care of it. Ow. What? Bro, cut. Jesus. Yoink. Yoink. There we go. Holy cow. What a hallway. Let's let's talk about that hallway for a second. <laughs> we always save. You know me, I save as much as I can. Let's go ahead and save right here. Oh, yeah, Fee. They just, just interrupt my attack real quick. I wasn't doing anything important. Yep, yeah, looks like the boss door. Yeah. Yep, thank you. Okay, let's heal on this piece of furniture here. Get our two hearts. Doink. And, uh, doink. They make me feel bad for them when they're upside down. Yeah, they have no remorse whenever they're... I'm upside down, though. They are relentless. Uh, is this the same? Up, down, left, right? No. Maybe it's backwards, right? Left, down, up. No. Oh, here we go. Up, up. It tells you right there. Down, down, up, up. Right, left, up, up. Alright, we're gonna have to look this one up. I remember the last one, but I don't remember this one. So, beat it. Here we go. This is the code right here. We're gonna have to dig for it. I love the sound of the, uh, I better make sure that we're in time before I continue on with the live stream of the land. Okay. Thank you, Calypso. Thank you. Thank you so much.
you don't have to watch on Twitch if you don't want to. So this is just, these two just tell you which way you need to be facing it. So you can see the red is on the top. So the red is the top of it. So if we look down, down, up, down, right, I guess. Down, up, down, right. Down, up, down, right. Okay. Down, up, down, right. There we go. That is the code there. We get a small key. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna have to find where this key goes to. Let's go ahead and back out. We will leave. Alright, I believe there's a door that we're going to have to open with a key eventually, somewhere, that we passed. It only makes sense. Let's check this side. Nothing. Wow. Oh, there it is. Fish, orange, wide eyes. Fish, orange, wide eyes. Fish, orange, wide eyes. <laughs> Are you casting a spell on me? Oh, this is one of the coolest mid-bosses in the entire game. Look at this guy. Look at this guy right here. Sick. I gotta reset every time I parry too. Here we go, let's lock in. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He does the two attacks now. Okay. Let's lock in. Here we go. Lock in. Lock in.
and we avenge Skipper. Bye bye. Bye bye, bozo. Give us the shit back. It's Skipper's, not yours. And now we're gonna get our item. We avenged Skipper. We avenged his crew. It was the pirate described by the captain. I can't help but admire the tenacity it, it has displayed in staying alive and functional all these years. That is pretty true. That's pretty crazy. Thousands of years later, the captain's still kicking. We get the bow. Noise. We get the bow. Okay. We have our last item here, the bow. Let's head back out onto the deck. And now, we may... Reveal the time crystal. Oh. And now we're going to reveal the second version of this ship. Time shift stone. Now we're just going to shoot our bow at the time shift stone. Look at that. And they're going to lock it up so we can no longer use the time shift stone anymore. We have some enemies here that we need to take care of. Okay, I need to reset so it counts my actual swings as swings. Okay, reset, reset. I'm going I'm going up. It's okay. There we go, there we go. Arrows, bundle of arrows. Let's see if we can snipe these guys off of here. Sidestep that. Take out that guy. We are going to head into... First, let's climb this ladder. Shoot this guy up here. The pulley system will send down this little uh, 
I don't know what you would call it. What do you call that? Zipline? Something? <laughs> I don't know what you would call it. The ship is so pretty. Yeah, I agree. I love that it's an ocean now. Can you see the giant, vast ocean in the middle of the desert? this up here. And now, if we stab this, we can turn it and then open the time shift stone. And open the door. And Skipper! That makes me so happy. Shit looks just like it used to. Now I just need to go rescue my crew. I'm pretty sure they're being held in the brig inside of the ship. Where's the statue? Oh, right here. So, we're gonna go save his crew. It's still pretty dangerous here, so I'll just wait in the boat. You can do it. Thank you, Skipper. We love Skipper. Alright. Let's take out this guy. Yonk. Take the zip line. Yeah, well, of course Calypso loves the ocean. It's Calypso. Come on. Come on. Oh, you're really going to love this boss, too, actually. Okay, I can't hook shot that. Is there a way down here without dying? Oh, I have this cloth, I guess. Scale down the back side of the ship right now. There is a chest back here. Am excitement. Yeah, this is a cool temple. Really cool temple here. Piece of heart. Awesome. And we can come over here and get some more hearts if we really want to. Let's head back up, and we will continue on to the next step of the temple. head into the ship, this little mini, uh, little mini escape boat, the emergency boat, shoot that, we can lower it down into the lower decks, and there's a little window we can walk into here, doesn't look like it's open though. Let's go back. So just take note of that for later. We're gonna use this later, obviously. For now, we're just gonna go back to where we were before. Ah, oh, look how beautiful the ship is.
We got lighting. Is there really nothing down this left side? Yeah, nothing. Okay. Not swing that way. We gotta reset every engagement. Oof. I back flipped on that one too. We can't fight two of these guys either. It's too much. Too much chance. We can't get through this electric fence. You can see we can't get through that because obviously we're in the uh, past here and everything works again. But you can see there's an opening in this grate and we can hit the time shift stone. Now we're going to switch it back in time. So the way we just went in is blocked, but now this way is open. So we may grab this chest here. We got the dungeon map. It's very rare that a temple gives you the item before the dungeon map, but there are temples that do that. Now we can just open this. And if we want to we can I think this is what we're supposed to do is send it back for or back in time again so we're gonna go back in time electric electric walls open but the entrances also are the electric fences block yeah whatever I don't know I, I screwed that up leave me alone okay I'm not the best grammar -er ever okay oh you know what we are supposed to stay in the future or in the present I guess we're supposed to stay in the present. Let's shoot that guy again. Here we go. There's an opening right here in this fan, and we can shoot that. That will open the door. If we start on the switch, it opens that thing. If we step off the switch, it closes it back up. So we're just going to move this over. Stand on the switch again. Now, we're going to send an arrow right through there. Oh. Now we have the other side open. Now I believe we are supposed to go back in time again, and then enter this room again once more. So let's go ahead and do that.
Link's looking a little slumped there. What the heck is going on? Here we go. Bro, why are you curving the bullet, bro? Thank you. Now let's go back into this room. We have an enemy to face in here. To the front. I didn't swing left, by the way. I sw I went like this. I went... <laughs> went straight up. It's motion controls. It happens. There's no reason to get upset at the game. It's just... I, I think it's a hardware issue on my end. And my Joy-Cons are old. Old? Uh, yeah, we'll just, we'll just leave it at that. Old is sliced bread. There you go. Even though it's not even... <laughs> remotely close to that. I think that's one of the uh, only complaints I've had with the Switch is that the hardware isn't as good as some of the competitors' hardware. Uh, and yeah, that's just one of my complaints that I've had. There we go. Okay. Stab that. We're gonna turn it to the left. And then we're gonna push it in. And now we have the generator going. The ship has power. We have one last room we haven't discovered or explored on this floor. It's over here to the left. I went to the left, right on that one. I swung from the right. I think it might just be better to uh, bow and arrow these guys since the motion controls are kind of letting me down right now. There we go. Yeah, motion controls are not working for me right now. We need to get into this room, it looks like. We're gonna move this block onto the switch. There we go. Okay, we're not allowed, we're not supposed to be going down here yet, so it's good to go explore. This isn't a room we're supposed to be in yet. We can take out this guy because we hate these electric dudes. Yeah, they punish me for my hardware not working properly, which is fine. We just we have a bow for a reason. Let's see if we can get that ship to come down from down here. No, we can't hit that. But we have opened up the uh, window, so we're going to go up and boat into the side here. 
Okay. It's not that complicated. We're gonna see... We're gonna go up to the top. It's a little, it's a little complicated. Not that complicated, a little complicated. We're gonna go up, we're gonna hit the time shift stone, send the ship back to the present. Back to the future. Uh... <laughs> And then, let's heal real quick. Probably not going to end up catching him, but that's okay. Stand up. Let's go back out to the deck. Fire on the poop deck. Good reference. Thank you, thank you. Alright. We're going to send the ship back in time. Or, I mean, uh, back to the present, I mean. You knew what I meant. Send it back to the past. I don't want to have to deal with all these enemies all over again. Climb the ladder. We'll get up here. We'll send it back to the present again. We will get on to our handy dandy little uh, rowboat. Send our ship down. We opened... Yeah, of course I didn't catch it. We opened the window. And, uh... So now we can go in through here. The electricity doesn't work because we are in the present. We have some bats to deal with. Okay. From here... Let's go ahead and... Whip it good. Open the door. Send out our bow. And we can hit the time crystal down here once again. Go back to the past. And now we can strike this generator. Turn it. Press it. And now the entire everything is open to us now. Okay. So now we're just going to leave this room. Head to the left. And go into this room that we were just in. Now we can go inside of here into the boat, but we're not going to do that. We're going to head down. Back to this area over here. And since we have both of the generators going, all the pistons are pumping, so to speak. You can see that they are pumping down here, too. Bonk. We're just going to time it. We're going to stand directly underneath this one. And as soon as it comes up, we're going to run across. Or, n or not. We're not going to run across, I guess. We're going to climb it like an idiot instead. Okay. We're going to wait right here. There we go. Apparently you don't need a sprint right there. As to make sure that Link doesn't jump like a complete doofus. We don't need to go down there. Instead, we're just going to whip across here. Here we go. This one is pretty straightforward. We are actually going to have to run across here. Make the ladder, take our time on the ladder. We can get on top of these pistons here. Oof. 
try it again. We mistimed it. Oh, no big deal. Time it correctly that time. Whip it good. There we go. Open the gate so we don't have to do that puzzle again. We can crawl through here. You're a human, right? How did you get in here? So you came with Skipper to rescue us? You've made us so happy. Really? You came on board to find Nehru's flame? If you want to reveal Nehru's flame, you're going to have to regain control of this ship. The control room is next to the brig, but it's a huge door sealed shut and you'll need a key to open it. First, you should head to the captain's cabin. The control room key should be in there. Please take this key as thanks for rescuing us. This key will open the door to the captain's cabin. And there we go, we get the key, and we saved his crew. We've avenged Skipper, we've taken his ship back, well, almost taken his ship back, and we saved his crew, which is so awesome. I'm getting out of here. Sorry to leave you on your own, but you look like you can handle it. We're counting on you. Yeah, get out of here, buddy. Go reunite with your captain. Okay. And now we can just head back. Poor guys, they were in there for so long. Years, literally thousands of years. Doomed, but we've come along and we've helped them out. Nice. Uh, we opened this gate. This is a way back, so this just goes back to the beginning of that room that we were doing the parkour in, the parkour room. We can head out here, climb the ladder, go into here, take the rowboat back up to the top. And this is the captain's quarters right here. If you ever want a monster horn, you can whip it off these guys. You can get a free monster horn. And they get mad. You can see he's throwing a little temper tantrum there. This is the captain's cabin right here. We can save right here, save at the bird statue, always save. I'll preach it every time, I don't care if I'm annoying you about saving. Save the game and you don't lose your progress. Uh, we might need to send everything back in time before we come in here. Or, ugh, it's horrible that it's like backwards. We need to go back to the present to... Uh, be able to get the electricity off and we can just we can literally just milk this guy for a monster horn and he gets pissed yeah all right let's grab this bow So this robot guy is blocking that 
opening right there, clearly. Uh, let's deal with these scorpions. Before we get too hasty, we're gonna have to go back in time again. So let's use the time shift stone. Go back in time. I'm not dealing with these guys anymore. There's another way to deal with these guys, see? You don't have to cut them anymore. Now we can click on that. We can do two little trick shots here. One for his eye, and then one for this door opening. Now we can open the door. Oh, what did I get hit with? Oh, that guy. Traded, that's okay. Cut this guy down to size. And that's the uh, boss key right there. Beautiful. You got the squid carving. Dang, you're a sniper in Zelda too. <laughs> I don't know about that. You can see my Alzheimer's is kicking in. I'm shaking every time I'm aiming it. I'd be a terrible sniper in real life. That's why I can't draw. just gonna run past these guys for now. We're just gonna run past everyone for now. Let's sit on the furniture. Heal up. I was not, I said Alzheimer's. I was thinking of uh what is it, Parkinson's? I was actually thinking of Parkinson's disease. Surprised I'm not diagnosed with Parkinson's with how much I shake. How much I quiver in my little boots. going all the way down to the bottom of the ship now. Yeah, we ain't dealing with these guys anymore. No point. No point in wasting lives there. No point in wasting lives on this guy either. The Joy-Con's like fighting me to go down. It was falling out of calibration in time, in real time. And here is the boss key. This is it. We're at the end of the temple. So we're just going to uh, grab this guy. Close. There we go. Push it in. And here we go. Here we go. Oh, 
already at the end? Yeah, we were fighting the boss of the temple right now. Oh. Oh, Calypso, is that you? Okay. That's it. There is no boss room. The ship is sinking, though. You can see it's sinking. We're blocked in here, too. The ship is under attack. If we do nothing, there is an 80% chance the ship will capsize. So, if we go to cut this, you can see it doesn't do anything. We're gonna have to do skyward strikes. See that? We can cut two at once. Got some Donkey Kong action going. Oof. A little too much Donkey Kong action. The ship is sinking. Um, there's no furniture here, so we can't even make necessary preparations if we really wanted to. Uh, we're out of potions. Out of potions, no furniture, no nothing, so... You lose, you get nothing, good day, sir. That's what they're, uh, telling me right now. Oh, look at the ship. The beautiful ship. No. Skipper ship. It's Celia from Monsters, Inc. Abyssal Leviathan Tentalus. Uh, that's not a Leviathan, but, you know, each their own. Pop these tentacles off. Careful. They're gonna start trying to get you from underneath your feet. You gotta be careful here. There you go, since we 
chopped off her hair last time, we can just get in here and do some damage on her eye. Okay. Back to, uh, chopping off tentacles. And we're just gonna rinse repeat this process. Come on, dude. You gotta quit messing around here. Out of arrows. Pop off her arms, get some arrows. Big damage there. Calypso is one tough cookie, let me tell ya. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, back in it. Yeah. Yeah. If you do it, beat me up. Oh, it's not over.
Oof. I think that might have killed me there. Nope. Oh, okay, no, that killed me. There. There we go. Calypso, you are probably one of the toughest boss fights in this game, uh, save Demise. Anyways, we do it. We did it. Got the harp container. We beat Calypso. We love Calypso, though. We, well, I would never do this to her. I do avenge Skipper, though. There was some special circumstances. Thank you, I try, I try. <laughs> Got the heart container. This is kind of a unique area, there isn't really a fountain. This is the fountain here now. more dowsing slots our sword gets longer too we are forging our sword and refining it into a better sword Thank you for getting me my ship back. Um, it may have been half wrecked, but my crew and I got it shaped up to almost proper working order in no time. I wish you good luck in finding whomever it is you are looking for. Come visit again. You're welcome anytime. Thank you, Skipper. We love Skipper. Let's take a let's take a little quick little selfie here. Yeah, the Skipper. There we go. All right. Let's save right here. The ancient harbor. Saved to this file, yep. Shout out Calypso555. Go follow her on Twitch and YouTube. She live streams, she makes music, she is a wonderful person all around. And I really highly recommend going and checking out her uh, channels. Shout out to Roger Dudra. 178 R O G E R D U D R A 178 Okay, that guy is phenomenal. I have a lot of respect for him and I hope wherever he is, he is succeeding. Thank you all for tuning in. Hope to see you next time. Shout out Shane the Islander too. He's very awesome. He's 
He's a wonderful guy also. Go check him out on Twitch. Peace out.